We're going to start with a gesture drawing or contour drawing describing the apple, figuring out where it is in space. Then we're going to start laying in our initial values, making marks or hatch marks, usually going in the direction around the apple, like a cross contour, just laying in the basic initial value. Then making a cross contour to make and build more values. Then we continue to build that left edge to give it more value as we see the darker shadows are on the left side of the apple. Then continuing to build the middle values as they are darker in that area as well. Continue building at the top where the darker values appear where the stem is, and then developing the stem with even darker values by clumping up those hatch marks. And we can touch up things with the eraser to define things. Then continuing to build even darker, adding more layers of hatch marks over top of the initial hatch marks to build more complex values. And we continue on the right side, adding some of those medium level values and coming in with those darker values at the bottom and some of those shadows that we see. And on the right side, we clean up with the eraser and kind of add some of those highlights we see in the coloring of the apple. And then kind of adding some of those long marks that we see describing the shape. Then we start building in the shadow and we start laying in kind of a lighter value on that right side and creating cross hatching marks. And notice they're not as directional because the background is a little bit more flat. Continue building those hatching marks, cleaning them up with the eraser, defining that right edge, and making sure everything's clean, that we can see the values that are buttered up against one another. Then we start developing the left shadow underneath the apple, and showing that gradation by building the layers of values over top of one another. And just continue those hatch marks, and get rid of some of those initial contour lines. And then on the left side, we build the cross shadow and where those marks kind of cross one another and then keep building that value as it's a much darker shadow than the other shadows. And where they cross is even more of a dark shadow. Then continuing to build that edge of the apple, continuing to build those values underneath the apple, the shadow, and the edge of that shadow where that bottom edge is. Then adding some of the details, some of those parts of the shadow that we're missing, darkening some areas, and finishing this off, adding some of the details, the nuances, just a little triangular shadow at the bottom that I added, and really building on top of itself. And it's getting close to being done. Kind of touching things up, adding some of those linear marks that go down the striations of the apple.